What's up YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer and this is my quick review of the UB Awesome. And I must say that this thing is a very awesome piece of machinery here. Really love the way this thing flies. I love the components and the build of this thing. The motors are 1306 motors and it's too reflective to really show you guys the KV but they are 3600 KV motors so pretty powerful not the top end the very top end but uh, pretty respectable with the KV there at 3600 but um, it came with these props here four bladed props and I was getting a small wobble from flying it with these things on uh, 3S I never tried it on 4S with these but 3S it was wobbling pretty bad and I guess it was partially the tune as well, but it just didn't have a, a lot of thrust. So I swapped it to these props here, which are the Rotor X props. They're 30, 40 pitched, and these things are awesome. And they turned this thing into a rocket ship, uh, coupled with a 4S battery. I have a 650 milliamp hour battery. It does have a XT30 connection in the back there, and this is a tattoo battery here and I bought this battery um, and initially it had an XT30 connector on it and I swapped it out actually um, so this battery is actually a perfect match for this quad in its original form <laughs> but I ended up doing a couple modifications to my UB Awesome so I for starters I did put an XT60 connection onto it so I just soldered that right onto the board so um, it actually takes both connections there still has the XT30 connection there because it was sort of built into the uh, build of it really hard to swap it out so I just left it there and I also added some lights on it as you can see I did a lot of mods to this thing I used a free sky receiver in here and it's velcro to the top of the canopy here I had to do some modifications to the canopy because the canopy actually blocks the interest to the USB port so whenever you have to make some changes or plug this thing to clean flight or beta flight the canopy had to come off so I cut that hole there to eliminate that and I had a problem with the ports on here there's, there's no dedicated port for DSM uh, DSMX uh, satellite receivers I think that they should include that on some of these boards here these it's I think it's a 4-in-1 board in here, a cube, and so it has uh, 20 amp ESCs, a 4-in-1, all-in-1 ESC uh, board in there. Let's see if I can get this off, show you guys real quick. So check it out, I added this antenna there because it comes with a dipole antenna. And check it out, I have the receiver up here. It's actually double sided mounted. I use some double sided mounting tape to mount the receiver up there, up top of the canopy. And I went in the side here because I was having a problem with this port over here, which is the one that they give you the cords for. This port here, I was having a problem going in the other way that everybody else was using. So I used UART2 actually, this one here. And I went RX Serial S Bus. And as you can see here, let me get something to point with. Right here, this is the VTX built right into the flight controller there. So uh, you can uh, select the frequencies here with this button on this side there. You can also uh, select the wattage, the milliwattage that this thing outputs. I think it's um, a, an option between 200 milliwatts and 400 milliwatts. I'll have it on the screen here if I'm, I'm wrong about that. And so I went on the side there for the receiver. I installed a buzzer there. It dis doesn't have a buzzer stock, so I added a buzzer. I think a buzzer is a must. I did swap out my camera as well. I, this is one of the Banggood 170 degree um, wide angle lenses there. So I swapped it out and I, it actually added audio to that so I have audio um, included with my footage now is this the Banggood cameras have a little mic on it so I can hear the motor sounds when I'm flying it 
and uh, what else let's see this light here came from the bugs 3 I actually modded my bugs 3 I'm going to put FPV into it so I cut this light off and put it here I just have it mounted on here with a screw straight through I put a drilled a hole right here so I can screw it off and on get the screwdriver down in there <laughs> and I'm using the XT30 connector there for its power so I got a little line let me turn it over I got a little line running from here and straight into there it's a JST to XT30 adapter it actually comes with the UV awesome and this is one of the LED strips from the QX95 I actually took that and put that on mounted that on there on the top use some I used some hot glue there to hold that in place because you guys know I love to do night flights so <laughs> I had to uh, get this thing some lights for my night flying and so the last thing is I, I did drill some holes here and put some a glob of glue on the ends of it at the bottom to keep these antennas up here so yeah for the most part that's it oh yeah um, I used a smaller battery strap under here this is from the Holy Bro Shuriken 180 it comes with two battery straps so I used one for this I think I have beta flight flash to it now it is FP racing F3 so this thing has tons of power this thing is a rocket on 4s it's even fast on 3s but on 4s with these props here i think that's the best combination for it well actually i haven't tried two bladed props that will probably be nasty on this thing too but i'm very happy with these rotor x props here 30 40 pitched tri-blade props and they are awesome with this thing this is the perfect combination in my book in my opinion this is the way this thing should have been made and it's just a rocket now no problem with pulling out of maneuvers or anything you know, this thing gangs a lot of height very fast when you give it a quick burst the throttle this thing is going to fly out of the atmosphere <laughs> so let's go take this thing for a flight alright so we out here with the UV also I've got the Devo out here just to hold the DVR clear. So let's see if we can get everything hooked up. Welcome to Open TX. As you guys can see, there's a light on the front, got the red light on the back. Just turn on the monitor. <clears throat> Sit this down. Yeah. Let's try to get this monitor sitting somewhere. Actually, let's just nail down right here, I guess. Locked in on the signal. Okay, we're locked in. <clears throat> Gonna do some line of sight first. You guys can see that light looks pretty nice, nice and bright. Pretty awesome. Now I can fly this thing at night. Easy to keep my orientation with it now. Things awesome. <laughs> and let's start the DVR.
Start of recording. And let's look at the screen and do some FPV down here. Oh, the beeping already, man. It's a little windy out here, so it's always hard for me to bring it back. <laughs> That's it, um, you be awesome. Thanks for watching.